YouTube, it's your girl uniquely you, or is it you? <laughs> Yours to be. I'm back in town. Been gone for some days now. Had a family member pass away, so had to go out of state. And then I left my phone out of state, so I just got it back today. So, um, wanted to try out Walgreens, do a deal that they got going on here. I was kind of like staying away, but. I want to check it out. So, they got this new thing called Balance Rewards. Hope you can see that. And that's exactly what the cards looks like. So, you get points and whatnot. You know, I guess you're trying to stay in competition with CVS or something like that, right? So, you know, they got to do their thing too, right? To stay in competition. Stay afloat. So, I'm trying it out, right? So, I um, looked at some videos um, about the ID gum. Uh, the Mitchum coupon like a man says, go get these items. Um, you rack up points. So, um, I had to buy one get one free. I don't have a dollar off coupon for the ID gum. If I did, oh my god, that would be totally free. And, you know, with the new registers, they're making them smarter. I don't know what they're doing to them, but they, when they know it's coupon time, you better believe, best believe that they're tweaking and, you know, twerking them to make sure it takes off the exact amount of the product. So, when I scan, needless to say, when I scan my product, Let's see my product. My coupon gets scanned for the buy one get one free. These are two for two. These right here, it scans off one dollar, y'all. I'm looking at what? So you see how many I got, right? Okay, four is missing because I already gave two to my daughter and two to my husband. So it's like, okay, gotta pull out the registry rewards. Now you know with a new machine, if you don't give all the coupons and all the registry rewards, then they basically gotta avoid it because the machine won't take any more coupons, right? I had to void twice so that was a big problem in itself but anyway let me show you let me tell you what I really need to tell you if you're going to do this deal don't do ID gum and Mitchum or Mitchum and ID gum because they both have points to them so if your item that you're buying has bonus points or bonus rewards and then you go to buy another product that has bonus rewards and you redeem them you will not receive the rewards for the product that you're buying currently. It will be a zero balance. I know that's crazy. That's the rule. But if you think about it, you knew it wasn't going to be that easy, right? Because we was going to rack up, right? Because I thought I was. I was like, oh, yeah, I got 10,000 points. That's $10. I'm going to do the Mitchum, use my coupons, and I'm going to have $20 after this. Yeah, right. Nah, -uh. not going to happen. You have to put something in between. Just like when we have the register rewards. How we can't just keep rolling it on the same item if it's not a rolling reward. Same with this. It don't roll. Your bonus points will not roll, you guys. You have to buy something in between there that either has register rewards or no rewards, something like that. Okay? Hope that makes sense. So, they cannot give you your bonus points back. There's Right now, there's no way of doing that from what I'm told. I'm looking at the information pathway. And it says, basically, they don't give the rewards back. So, if you mess up. That's that. Only thing they can do is give you store credit, and that's uh, at the discretion of the manager. And you don't get your coupons back either. So it's a hot mess right now. But if you do it right, I think you can. You know, it'll it'll, it'll, it'll work itself out. In the beginning, things are always a little rough around the edges. But as time passes, I think this will get smoother. But right now, we're just trying it out. And you, of course, the points are higher, so it's going to be problems. So in between this deal was supposed to be something else, but I didn't know. So, this is what I did. Thinking it's gonna take off a dollar seventy nine. Nope, take off a dollar. So I had, let's see, eleven coupons. So I had twenty two of these. So I gave eleven coupons. Took off eleven dollars, not a dollar seventy nine each. No, didn't happen like that. So I end up having a balance of eleven dollars. Luckily, I had eight dollars, I believe, in uh, registry rewards. So I ended up paying only two dollars and something, and I got back ten thousand points. Lovely, I love that because that's for gum. I'm getting ten thousand points. That's ten dollars. Are you kidding me? I'll do that any day, right? Um. So let me show you what it looks like. There you go. Just to let you see. See, they separated by colors. The berry, and then the other one. Hold on. Nine. And 11. I have 20 for some reason. I don't know why I have 20. I thought I had 22. 
9 and 11 is 20. 20. Okay, 20. I thought I had 22, but apparently I have 20. Okay, so anyway, there's my coupons. Something ain't right. Somebody can't count. Let's count these. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. That's 18, 19, 20, 23. I do have 22, but apparently he can't count. Apparently. Because all I see on here is 11 and 9, which is 20. So, uh, yeah, he's bad. <laughs> so that's a, his oops. So anyway, there's my coupons. The two $3 and the two $1 in between, that's my um, register reward. So that's the $8. So I end up paying, see my bonus points earned. End up paying 217 with tax, 93% uh, savings. So okay, I go to do this deal. Okay, after that, this spit out this thing right here. This was already right there, so it's mine. Um, Pantene, dollar twenty-five off, and I got this. It came out the machine. Okay, so I go to do this deal. So I figure, okay, it's giving back 2,000 points. So 2,000 times nine is 18,000. Well, that's all I need to do is buy nine, not 10, just nine, right? See, I get $20, so I thought. So this is what it looks like. There go all my little deodorants. There go all my coupons. Subtotal 1116. So I thought I was gonna use 10,000 points and pay $1.16, okay? So I did. I redeemed my points, paid $1.26, uh-oh, focus. There we go. That says 65% savings, which is okay because I thought I was going to get $20 back because it's supposed to be 2000 per points per um, Mitchum, right? Look. Let's see me down to see my number. See, it says uh, opening balance 10000 Earn this visit, zero. Redeem this visit, 10000 Closing balance, zero. For my next award, I need 5,000 points to get $5. I was like, oh, heck no, something wrong. <laughs> and then also on their signs, it said 1,000 points. But a store that I went to previously had 2,000. And they said their stores are different. So I'm like, here we go. So basically, I think I need to go to the car. Um, I had to end up getting a store credit, which was a Walgreens card. And he just gave me the points that I used, which was the $10, 10,000 points. He gave me $10 on a card since I made it a boo-boo. So yeah, just letting you guys know, don't try to do it this way. You have to have something in between your transaction. If it has, you know, if this has points, get something without points that has register rewards maybe. And then use your register rewards on something that has bonus points and then you'll get points. Hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, overall, out of my pocket, I spent a dollar twenty six is it right no a uh, yeah a dollar twenty six no a dollar sixteen and I spent we'll just say and I spent two dollars so three sixteen and I got um all this stuff and I got a gift card for ten dollars so I ain't mad because I still can do this deal now the thing is I want to know if it tracks what you buy and can you buy it again so that's the part I'm kind of confused on because I'm thinking about doing the ProGlide Razor, you know, more than once in between deals. And I know sometimes things say a limit of one, so I'm trying to figure out if it's going to say you maxed out. I don't know. I'm confused because, you know, with CVS, it tells you you offer limit reached. So I don't know how this is going to work out. But anyway, anybody got information, please let me know. But this is what I found out at my store. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe below. Leave comments. Thanks.